In this final episode of Gatsby.js and WordPress series, we are going to publish our site to the GitHub pages or deploy it. And we are also going to uh, correct some errors that I created in the previous episode, uh, which will actually hinder us from uh, deploying our site to GitHub pages. So first of all, we have to install this plugin called GH Pages for Gatsby. So npm install gh pages, wait for it to finish, and then we'll continue on. Okay, so once that is finished, we need to go into our package.json file, which is right here. Let me make this bigger, okay. And now in this file, we have this scripts uh, object, and in it, we are going to add a new script called deploy. So what this is going to be doing is it's actually going to do pretty much the same thing as Gets as Gatsby build. So it's going to build our site and then it's going to use GH pages plugin to push our site to GitHub. Uh, what is very nice about this, you don't have to do anything on GitHub to get this done. Actually, you have to create a repository, but the pages will be created automatically. So we just save this. Uh, we should set up path prefix uh, for our GitHub pages, but we are not going to be doing that right now because we still haven't created the repository. Once we create it, then we are going to add path prefixes. So I'm now on my GitHub repo uh, repository, my GitHub page, and I'm just going to create a new repository called it Gatsby de uh, Deploy. Gatsby Deploy. Uh, I'm not going to add any description and we just create a repository. Now you should just follow these instructions right here. So first of all, I'm just going to go to the Gatsby deploy and do git init. And then I'm going to, so this is the main part of what you need to do. You need to git a remote add origin. So you need to copy this line and add origin. So where git should push these files. Okay, we did that. And now we just git add everything and we can just push that to our repository. Oh, I forgot to commit it. Okay. Git push origin master and now our project should be pushed to git. Okay, if I refresh this page, now we see our project right here. Okay. So the next thing we need to do, we need to set up those path prefixes and you set up the path prefix. So uh, this is your URL to your Gatsby repository. So you would have github.com, uh, your username, and then the name of the repository. So the path prefix would be this. I'm just going to copy that. And we go to our uh, Gatsby config file and right here, uh, we do, okay, so path prefix is, is Gatsby deploy. Okay, so we got that set up and that should actually be it. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, we are probably going to get some errors and we are going to be fixing them in this episode. So to deploy your site, you would usually do this npm run deploy. Okay, so we get an error. And let me just show you. So the error is in our post uh, .js file. And it's right here. So it says that building of static uh, HTML failed because it can't read property local file of null. Okay, so we have a problem right here and we are going to solve it. Let us just, first of all, to show you what the problem is, uh, let's just run Gatsby develop. Okay, once this is done, uh, let's take a look at our actual page. Okay, so this is the problem that we are getting. So I thought that when you don't have a featured image, this is the response you would get. So the first post has a featured image and the third one also. But the second one, which is this one, doesn't have a featured image. And the response from it is featured media, local file, child, child image sharp, resolutions null. And that's what we are checking in our posts.js file. 
is if uh, the resolutions is actually null. And if it is null, then uh, we don't want to display the image. But what actually is happening when you don't have a featured image present is this. So if you go to next page, you get an error, which we didn't get before because we didn't go to the next page. And if we check out our console log again, now this time, uh, let's check for the first one, node featured media, okay, that is okay, node, oh, this one, okay, so you see the third one on this page has featured media set to null. So how can this be? Uh, why are we getting this response uh, here? And on the first page, we are getting the different response. Well, it's because the WordPress's Faker plugin, which I use to generate my posts. And if you go to the second uh, post on the first page, you will see something very strange right here. So featured image is, there is no featured image, but this right here says remove featured image. So it actually has a featured image, which is probably a broken link and uh, we can remove it and set another image on it, uh, which we are not going to be doing because right now we know what uh, the actual response from our WordPress should be. So featured image, uh, featured media is null uh, if there, are no, there is no image present. So how do we fix this? Well, we are just going to check if there is featured media also. So I'm just going to copy this and just say, and so is featured media present and also resolutions have to be present to display this image. So if I save this right now, go right here. Now, as you can see, our page works as expected. So sorry for that guys, I really didn't know what uh, response from the server I should expect. Uh, we also have a very similar error on our post page. So we are going to uh, rectify it right now. So if I go to post.js, now right here we have post featured media local file and so on. So we also want to check here for is featured media present. And I'm going to do this uh, like this. So I'm just going to say post featured media. If it exists, then post featured media. So the resolutions is going to be post featured media local file and so on. And if it doesn't exist, then it's just going to be null. So this should take care of our problem with the post. Save this and now let's try to deploy our site. So I'm just going to uh, cancel out of our Gatsby develop and run npm run deploy again. And this time it seems to be working. So let's go to our Gatsby deploy repository. And now you can go to settings and just down here you have GitHub pages. And as you can see, your site is published at and you get the link for your Gatsby site. So if I click on it, we go to Gatsby deploy site. So as you can see, this is my address for it. And if I go to posts, we get our posts. And if I click on a post, I go to a post. And as you can see, this is super fast. So this works very, very fast because we are only loading static uh, assets. So we are just loading HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And there is actually no uh, connection to the server. So there, there is no need for the server to render your pages. It just delivers you, uh, delivers them to you instantly. So as you can see, this works perfectly right now. And it's very easy to uh, deploy your Gatsby site. Okay, so this has been it for this video and also for this series. So if you like the series, uh, please give it a thumbs up all, or all the videos in the series, give them a thumbs up. And if you like the content I put out, you can maybe subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you wanna ask me questions, you can do that using social media. Thank you to all my patrons. And if you want to become a patron yourself, you can use the patron page for that. 
Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.